Hello and welcome to the last grown up in the woods. Today we are going to make some elderberry winter tonic. Now this is new to me. This is a whole new plant. I grew up near red elderberry but my mom used to tell me it was poisonous which red elderberry sort of is. It's the most toxic of the elderberry species and, and most say that you shouldn't eat it raw. So in my mind I always just put off um, making anything from elderberry. This this elderberry is not native to this area so it might be black elderberry, Sambucus nigra. So I'm going to be making a winter tonic with this because it's supposed to have very good antiviral properties and I don't like flus or cold. So I've got the computer in front of me because I'm getting a recipe from the food blog and here we are. I'll put the link into the description and it sounds really good. Plus you can make this tonic to make soda which I'm too lazy to do. I want something that I can put in the jar and put in the fridge and kind of drink all winter. So I've already washed these. I imagine they're easier to wash in the bundles. But now I'm going to use a fork to um, get them off the stem. Luckily it's not in the ripe berries. So at the end of this I am actually going to go and pick out any of the, of the berries that don't look completely black. And as per claims that red elderberry needs to be cooked before you eat it, my guess would also be that cooking helps to break down the the sembunigrin. Okay, stormtrooper apron on, so I can be the clumsy slob that I am without ruining my favorite bird shirt. So I'm now going to add some water. I will make a one-to-one -one berry to water ratio. Okay, the next step is to bring this to a boil. And before we do that, we're going to add some spices to make it tasty. First of all, we have some fresh ginger. In my case, the lazy person fresh ginger because it's in a tube. So it's one tablespoon for every cup of berries. I have two cups of berries. One teaspoon of cinnamon for every cup. And a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves for every cup of berries. Now I'll just wait for it to boil. So I've turned the heat down and I'm just going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Once that's simmered for 20 minutes, it's a... Uh, Half a cup of honey for every one cup of berries. Honey is also supposed to have some antiviral properties. Of course, unpasteurized honey is always the way to go. And now it's just time to strain out the good stuff. Then I'll pour it into a jar. I'm not going to bother canning or anything. It's plenty sugary enough to last the winter. Might as well eat this spicy slop at the bottom. Mmm! Mm. That's why Stormtrooper's here. So I intend to probably mostly use this for tea, but I'm sure it would be del delicious diluted into a hot or cold drink or um, a, s a sweetener in, I don't know. And now it's time for the channel of the week. This week it's going to Rialo Brown, if that's how I say it. He has an excellent UK hiking channel. I've been watching his channel for quite a while now, and you can click on it here. If you want to go check it out, you can also click up here if you want to subscribe to my channel. And there's some other videos of mine over here. And also, right down here, you'll see a little bell symbol. If you want notifications when I release a video, you can click on that. That's it. So long, and see you next week-ish.